building travel quick is number nine now without further ado let me give a shout out to my latest players and subscribers and are here to speak on it. I appreciate Jay breaking down the definition of Boricua. Yo, hey, yo. I appreciate the brother for coming on as well, but uh, I feel like I didn't do him justice because I didn't get to end the show right. You know, my phone was overheating, and whenever I go back on, which may be the day or tomorrow, I will look forward to bringing Jay Negrito back on and we can finish our conversation. I never really got into the Africa part of the conversation that I wanted to get into because that's what I'm looking at next. You know, I'm, I'm looking at the possibility of South Africa myself. From what I'm seeing, South Africa, be it Johannesburg or Cape Town, I gotta find out which one it is exactly where the ones with the good townships in it. And the only other good place that I'm looking at is Ghana. But since 2019, like a lot of people I spoke to are nothing more than behind, people behind a thumbnail. And it's not like they're real people. It's like everybody in Ghana is a troll right now. In Uganda. I feel like I'm spinning in circles. <laughs> Shout out to Cool Breed. I thank you, man. You just keep the comments and the questions flowing, and I'll keep the responses going. Give me some more ammo so I can see you on um, Travel Quick as a 10. Appreciate you, bro. Let me give a shout out to Bridge Build. He says, yes, sir. Dreams is tight with the editing skills. Footage on Egypt was like a cable documentary. Salute. Keep the videos coming. <clears throat> Sorry. Well, yeah, that's what I plan on doing. If you look at it in the in the previous year, I kind of slacked up on doing lives as well as uh, just regular everyday videos. But, you know, I, I, you know, I feel like editing is my strength. So... Once I get around the right people, they help me out, point me in the right directions, things that I need to use, things that I need, essentially, then I'll be looking forward to just do my own documentaries and, and stuff like that. Won't care whether, you know, about, you know, feedback and stuff like that. Because when you're doing the things that you want to do, that's, 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 that's when you're living. When you walk in somebody else's tightrope, that's when you're miserable. Don't walk other people's tightrope. 
Shout out to Bridge Builder. Come with another comment, I'll see you on 10. Going to random spot in the random hood, do what the hell we want to do. With my boys here, Dream Green. What's good, man? WTU. Join us. WTU PSA, man. I don't give a fuck. Damn. Man, you got some shit. I knew that bitch. We give a shout out to Jordan. Says that's horrible what happened in Brazil. Well, one thing is the simple fact that uh, everything, for as I'm concerned, from probably Sergi Pay up to Fortaleza, that's done for, for sure. You know, and how everything is going on with how they cancel the carnival, I've already made plans to do other things. But as far as going east, nah, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Everything is pointing north and west so north and west puts me up in this area yeah i'm thinking about it for real though that's just one everybody want to blame you know nature but let's be real people say that human beings are the apex predator nah nah flip. earth is the apex predator think about it the dinosaurs were some big bad motherfuckers they ain't here no more some people blame the global warming. Hey, the earth just doing what the earth supposed to do. That's, but that's just one. Two, Jordan? The shit's still going on in Minas Gerais. Look. That's just what happens then. You know, it's landslides and plenty of landslides going on. Somebody said it's the media that hit. Speaking of that, here's more boots on the ground for Brazil. Here's Miss V. Check it out. So there's definitely been a lot of talk about uh, all these natural disasters happening all over the state of Minas Gerais in brazil like uh it, it's not like it's happening all in one city or one place it's uh th that place is just <laughs> that state is just being hammered by a lot of rain which is uh which is just causing a lot of foundational instability i think it's because um it's, it's one of the big mining states here and as you know uh, a lot of times the regulations are pretty lapsed here with the with the, the the environmental regulations and things like that so there's a lot of speculation that you know all of that mining unregulated mining with no respect for uh, the environment sustainable environmental things uh, coupled with all of the rain um, yeah that state just seems like it's under attack and there was even a meteor <laughs> as I showed you um, and of course, the conspiracy theorists and the and the holy folks, the religious people, they see apocalypse. So you heard everything from boots on ground. Shout out to Mrs. V. Miss V, when you watch this video, make sure you put the link to your channel in the comment section so these brothers can subscribe to you. So I'm probably going to um, touch down in Rio on Thursday. I'm not going to the airport in the North Zone. I'm going to the airport that's closer to Flamingo. Uh, I can't pronounce it. It's uh, SDU. I'm not going to go to Copacabana. I'm probably going to go to Central because like last week, Airbnb sent me some shit. And, um, you know, big ass spots, $22, $23. Only thing about it, 
I know somebody told y'all about it, but they probably didn't tell you that a lot of those places only got one or two reviews. Look at those damn reviews first. Fuck around, you go out there and it be a box, a, a cardboard box. You know, it's gotta have at least five reviews. You know? But if you see that word automated in there, I'm probably gonna stay in St. Fro, Flamingo, Lapa, or Bangu. One of those four. <laughs> At Friday, I'm gonna get up and I'm probably gonna go north and west. And I'm thinking about, you know, somewhere up in that region. Somewhere. But if I go, I can look forward to having some type of adventure because it's. What I'm planning is not going to be a lot of money spending. It's going to be a lot of just real boots on ground shit, you know, hiking, you know. I don't know if I'm going to uh, mess with the water up that way, but I'm, 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 experience is experience. Who gives a shit what country it's in? Nevertheless, Jordan, thank you for your comment. Send another comment, and I'll see you on 10 as well. Let me take time out to give credit to the traveling pookies and ray rays. But none of y'all are doing shit like this. Like I tell you, the problem with flight is not international shit. It's all the domestic. John, I've been covering this unruly passenger trend, this issue for months. You're not seeing this on Coke. You're not seeing this on Lidl. You're not even seeing it on Avianca. Well, you're probably not going to see it on anything <laughs> at all. But you're not seeing it on gold. You're not seeing it on Blue Airlines Brazil. You're not seeing it. You're not seeing it in the airline Jordan just rode on to go to Turkey and, and Jordan and Qatar and all of this. They ain't seeing that over there. They ain't getting up out the seats and, and, and trying to do, run up in the cockpit crash the plane. Jordan yeah, on the airline, full of people that just look like people that crash But when I get to Florida, I don't fool with them no more. That's why I fly with the International Airlines, because I'm tired of seeing shit like this here. And I definitely don't want to be on the plane with one. Because you ain't getting no duct tape if, if, if I'm next to you. You, gonna, you for sure gonna get a two-piece. But this is what has me tempted to fly. And it seems like whenever I get ready to get on the plane, this shit is starting to happen. So I, I, I'm guessing it's gonna catch up to me sooner or later. This is Dries and I'm up out of here. Travel quickest, number nine. Jedi. Good morning, Sims. <laughs>